we've got another question from um, your mate um, Lee Clark. Oh. Obviously a serious guy. He's, he's trying to uh, fine tune his physique. Is he? How do you know? I always seen if he's, if he's a photos. real real picture. He looked pretty oh. ripped. Can you ask Lee his thoughts on when to adjust cardio and diet to continue fat loss? I mean, does he increase cardio before touching food? Because I know some guys would rather do more energy output than cut food. And how much cardio he did before he looked into dropping food? I never drop food. I just increase the cardio because I like eating. So I normally start off at 40 minutes a day when I start dieting. And then as it goes along, I go to an hour and a half a day. and. Then two hours and then sometimes three hours a day and I just increase my diet food and just keep the cardio up and I never like increase the output as far as going faster and stuff like that I'll be on a treadmill and just change the incline or just go walking around places and walk up more hills and stuff but no I never never cut food at all just increase the cardio that way I can eat more food <laughs> so no I wouldn't be good if I had to cut food back so no then you'd be hungry all the time and angry and stuff so no just increase your cardio if you've got time. If you've got time to do it, then do it. But like I said, it keeps your mind busy. You can have a treadmill in front of the TV at the gym or at home or go walking outside with your wife, your girlfriend, your dog, your gay lover. Who cares? Just keep moving. Everything you do, just keep moving. Yeah. and, and Vacuum the house. Do whatever. Go do yard work. Mow the lawn. It all comes down to cardio. Push your mower and lunge. Squeeze your glutes. Yeah, so you just got to come up with new ideas. But I mean, if you if you got like an office job and you you're, you're having to work, you know, you use don't the stairs. Don't use the elevator if you've got an office job and you're up a few floors. Take the stairs each time. Maybe in your lunch break, if you've got a lunch break. Say, take some clothes to work, and then in the lunch break, go up and down the stairs yeah. for 20 minutes, stuff like that. You know, you just if you want to make it work, you'll find time and you'll fiddle in. So. You always look for excuses on why not to do stuff when you can really just go do it. So that way too, if you do it at work or you fiddle in here at even if you got a thing, you just go walk around the city. If you're working an office job, get out. If there's a park close by, go walk around the park in your lunch break type thing. So you know you can always find time to do stuff. So don't be lazy.